is going on you guys it's your boy alex was collects here bringing the most in-depth action figure views here on youtube and today we have another throwback vintage unboxing for you we have wwe mattel nxt takeover alistair black i remember this being a very hard uh, to find figure this was a target exclusive i was actually able to score a few at retail uh and was able to hook up a few of my buddies who were in searches but this was a very hot figure when it came out very hard to find it was uh, alistair black's first elite figure and of course the nxt line very unique as far as the shape of the box kind of got that x shape to it uh very different i believe we only saw two two waves of this i don't really remember to be honest it was so long ago but uh, i i say this all the time i can only watch so much wrestling and i don't watch a lot of nxt at all i like kind of like i'm aware of the talent coming up but at this time i didn't really know anything about alistair black and i saw him on shelves i was like who is this guy? Like, I wanted to know more. Like, you know, guys are generally pretty tatted, but there was just a look to him from the the black and the vest and the hair. And I was just like, wow, this guy's pretty cool. And I was hooked since then. And really, how crazy it is, is it to say that a figure got me interested in a wrestler? And it's not, it's usually all the way around. You're a fan of a, a wrestler uh, and then you buy his figure and just like all good. But this was where one of the few times where I saw this figure, I was like, I want to know more about Aleister Black. I love this finisher. I mean, just everything about him. And I'm so disappointed that he's in, in uh, AW now because he would have been an awesome figure to have as an ultimate, right? I know we've got the Supreme Malachi Black, but man, uh, Mattel doing it upright with all of the, those entrance masks, especially now he's wearing AW, that would be so sick. But Take a look at the packaging. You get your NXT TakeOver packaging. Aleister Black, NXT debut, 4-1-2017. How crazy is that? This entrance gear included. On the top, you will see the NXT TakeOver logo with the Elite Collection logo. Flipping onto the side, you will get the image of Aleister Black uh, with that little cutout that indentation that goes inside here with the Elite Collection logo. Same image on the other side. On the back, you get the larger image of Aleister Black plus a little bit of the read-up. The other figures that were included were Drew McIntyre. I remember that being another one. Killian Dane and Ruby Riot. Like It's crazy that two, two of the most tatted wrestlers of all time were in the same wave. Imagine how much that costs to produce, but very unique packaging, very unique figure. We're going to go through this and see what this figure is all about. So here we have Aleister Black out of the packaging. Again, this is an older Mattel Elite. This was before the interchangeable hands were even a thing. Uh, so there are no other accessories included other than this entrance vest. But I think uh, for the amount of detail he comes with, that is more than fine with me. Uh, but let's look at the entrance vest real quick. You can see all this nice detailing, all these different logos with the kind of bones on the front. Uh, you can see this bigger logo here on the side of the vest as well. On the back, you will see some writing here. It says board and dust. Some more uh, kind of different images. Continuing even on the side. Really detailed. There's even some sculpted detail uh, over here on the top part. That kind of continues on through. Uh, even up here on the collar. There's a lot of nice detailing to it. And I did have this figure in my collection prior. Um, and you know what? I just kept upgrading and saying, oh, this is a better version of Aleister Black. Good interchangeable hands. This looks better. So that's the only reason I got rid of him. I was always a fan and... I don't know. I kind of always regretted selling them. And opportunity came to purchase them again. I said, I'm going to add them to my collection. But let's take one more close-up look at this vest because I really do like it. And his vest just got more in intricate over the years, right? His entrance gear has just really uh, gone to another level. But you can see here, he's not as tatted. And I do like that. It's kind of like an obviously an earlier rendition of Aleister Black. Uh, but you can get a nice detail of his tattoos here. On his, on his torso, uh, on his arms too. He does have the black elbow pad here. Taking a look on the other side. I know a lot of people were complaining about like the Jazzers figures where there wasn't enough tattoos there. Some of them were missing. Like on the inside of his bicep, you can see that here. Uh, even on his hand, there is tons of tattoo detailing. And if you do have the newer Aleister Black Elites with the interchangeable hands, even those interchangeable hands have all the tattoo detailing. It says anti-hero on the front, I believe. Yep anti-hero on the front it's even his leg has some tattoo detailing this is what really drew me to this figure but the best tattoos on his back the demon on his back like look at that that just looks so awesome man uh and i feel like uh the newer some of the newer mattel just have some more of a feel to it you can see even the the top neck tattoo here on the back of his uh his head as well and he's got this awesome kind of like uh hair design man very unique uh with this freaking mohawk uh the head scan is okay it's not my favorite i will be honest with you guys um they could have probably done better had he stuck around the tail but it's okay for its time right uh but continuing on his gear you get just plain black trunks 
I love the wrist tape. I know there's that one Alistair, I believe it's Elite 73 with the gray, where he did not come with a wrist tape and it just looks so naked. But you can see the design on the back of his trunks and the black knee pads, as well as the design on the kickers. But let's come back. I want to get into a few comparisons. So here we have a few different Mattel Elite Alistair Black figures. So uh, this figure here on the left is the Elite 85, as well as the one on the outside. I honestly don't remember which is the Chase version. There's one with a white on the knee pad, and then one without it. Uh, both came with the same entrance cloak, but... I love the Elite 73 vest that originally came with this figure here in the gray. You can see he does look a little naked without the wrist tape versus the other figures. So, and also the gray. I was never the biggest fan of this figure. I never even really cared for the, like, one textured uh, kick pad versus, you know, the, the two kind of, like, smoother ones on the original figure. But it was definitely different for sure. Uh, you can see even the tattoo detail if you guys want to remove each vest. Uh, from the figure he's obviously just continued to get more and more tattoos so let's get a quick comparison of the elite 85 here which is probably my favorite figure released by mattel of alistair black you can see as we get the vest off we'll get a quick zoom in for you guys and you can see the tattoo detail has increased he obviously he's gotten more uh, especially on his legs uh the back is where you will notice a little bit of a difference uh i feel like the newer one didn't have as much as a fill on the nxt version uh, i'm not sure if the elite 73 uh figure had any more detailing on the back tattoo maybe we can do that in the next segment and remove his vest Here's a quick look at all the back tattoos on the Mattel Elites. You will see the Elite 73, I feel like, has the most detail. And you can see the, the more darker green where it kind of pops. Uh, I feel like it's a little omitted on this one. Maybe it's just the way the colors were applied. Uh, so they definitely do have a little bit of more paint deco than the NXT Elite. Uh, but let me know in the comments, which one do you think looks more detailed and better on the figure? And I know we're getting a little bit of ahead ourselves here, but since we're at it, why not? We do have all of the Mattel uh, Elite figures here. Let's throw in an AW Jazzwares Malachi Black to give you some uh, different looks at the big back tattoo here on the figures. And moving on to another set of comparisons. So here we have an AW Jazzwares figure next to a Mattel Elite. And I just wanted to give you a different look at the tattoos. Obviously, this is, you know, a little bit earlier in his career where he didn't have quite as much tattoo detailing, but... If you want to run through a quick comparison, just look at both these figures for what they are. I love them both. I know some people have their gripes with uh, Jazzwares, uh, especially when he was missing some tattoo detail in here, which you will see the Mattel Elite does have. Uh, but obviously a different scale, a lot bigger of a scale uh, is Jazzwares. But both are great figures, and I'm happy to have them both in my collection, obviously from different eras of Al uh, Malachi and Alistair Black's career. Here we have all the Jazzwares Malachi Black figures. So on the left, we have the most recent uh, Unmatched Series 8 Malachi Black in the suited attire. Uh, really do like this figure as simple as it is. Uh, next to that, we do have the Supreme version of a Malachi Black. I do have two of them in my collection. I know this is a harder figure to find, but... Uh, when this was announced, for sure, no doubt, needed two of them to display in his different entrance gear here. Love the mask. You can see the difference here. Um, and also the, the awesome, like, uh, fringes hanging off of these cloaks. It just looks so menacing. Uh, and of course, the one we just looked at, the Unmatched Series 6, I believe. Um, not crazy about the eye paint. I, I, I get it's part of the gimmick. I actually prefer his look here. Uh, but love the mask that he's been coming out with. These are all great and very fun figures. Uh, Alistair slash Malachi are, is just a very Toyota character. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. While you're at it, please turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. Please let me know what you think of this figure. Do you have it in your collection? Are you contemplating going back to add it to your collection? Uh, do you like the Jazzers figures better than the Mattel figures? Uh, what are your thoughts of him not having a singles match in like 600 days? Some crazy number. I'd be like, I feel like Cody Rhodes was still in AW when he had his last singles match. Like, I thought for sure Alistair or Malachi would have been, like, AW champion by now. At least once or if not twice. The guy is just such a talented wrestler. My app, One of my absolute favorite wrestlers today. Uh, you know, just really love his in-ring work. Love his character. I feel like he's head of, so ahead of his time, you know. Um, and just look at all his, these figures. They're so damn toyetic. I personally love them all. Here are all of my Alistair slash Malachi Black figures. I'm kind of curious, what name do you like better? Do you like Alistair Black or Malachi Black? I feel like I keep going back and forth. I think I like Alistair Black better. I don't know, just kind of, I guess, stuck in my WWE ways. But 
Uh, my favorite uh, figure for sure, I think, is the Supreme. I just love the mask and the cloaks. It just, oh man, just so menacing. Uh, for the Mattel, I think I'm going to go with the Elite 85 with this entrance vest as my favorite Mattel figure. Would love to see more. I know there's supposed to be a Vault Supreme uh, Malachi Black coming up down the road, so stay tuned for that uh, eventually uh, with news breaking. But uh, this NXT figure, again, I think was ahead of its time. It's a very fun figure. Um, got him at a decent price. He's not crazy expensive. He's a little more than retail. So I recommend adding them all. I personally love all these figures and uh, will continue to support Alistair slash Malachi Black and any wrestling promotion he's in. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking this video review. Uh, before you don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex West Collects. When you shop at ringsidecollectibles.com, use promo code for life to save 10% off your order. Thank you again for your continued support and tuning in. I will catch you all on the next video.